Hey, 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 hey. Big, big, big E, what's up everybody? At the bottom of all our terrified souls, we know that democracy is a dying giant. Big E TV, and I am stoked! Good evening. I'm at 420 on planet Earth, and it's about to go off! Hey, hey, hey! Big E here in the house! Sick, sick, dying, decaying political concept writhing in its final pain. We don't really have an ability to critically think anymore. Well, I'll tell you what happened. I just ran out of bullshit. <laughs> What is finished is the idea that this great country is dedicated to the freedom and flourishing of every individual in it. Bullshit is all the reasons we give for living. But you know the guy that stands out to this day the most for me? Machiavelli. And his main mantra was that it really doesn't matter, you know, success or achievements, how you get there, as long as you get there. It's the individual that's finished. It's the single, solitary human being that's finished. The end justifies the means. It's every single one of you out there. How did they get there? And did they get there in ethical means? Because this is no longer a nation of independent individuals. Fundamental irresponsibility to not use a, 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 a word like uh, crazy, which I will not use. We've got to look at our values. We've got to look at what, what is important to us. And we've got to look about taking elections and, and pol politics, for example. It's a nation of some 200 odd million transistorized, deodorized, whiter than white, steel belted bodies. And are we going to hold people accountable? Are we going to accept the fact that people lie to our face and then accept us? And then we are supposed to accept that? Totally unnecessary as human beings and as replaceable as piston rods. She asked of the Prime Minister uh, because you think your voice is more important than her ability to listen. That's not very polite. He's saying that life is bullshit, and it is. So what are you screaming about? Man is a noble creature that's all to his own world. Lying and cheating and stealing and fucking getting to the top, whatever it takes? No! Come on, you guys. We're better than this. Let's think beyond ourselves. Okay. Okay. There's anybody okay. out there that can look around I'm this demented slaughterhouse of okay. a world we live in you know what? and tell me that man is a noble that. creature? We don't really have an ability to critically think anymore. You know what? Believe me, that you know man is full of bullshit. <laughs> It's from the ball. <laughs> Do you want a hit from the ball? Mr. Hackett's trying to get through to you. Tell Mr. Hackett to go fuck himself. <laughs> See, I have spent the past number of weeks crisscrossing the country, doing town halls across the country. I should think the way they think. No, we should empower people to think for their friggin' selves. Yeah. Trust me, I know what your concerns are. I've heard your concerns. So I don't have any bullshit left. People to think for themselves and to have critical thinking. I just ran out of it, you see. And to be able to, like, figure it out. Their concerns, because there's a room filled with people who do have questions for me. And if you could have a little respect for them. Okay, but I would pose to you an, an alternative solution, and that is socialism, which I believe... You need to... You don't respect anyone in this room? 
then I'm going to have to ask you to leave this room. I believe that that's really a balance. That's a balance. That's a kind of balance that we need in our lives. We part of that, the other part of... Oh, come on! Come on! We need balance between the environment and business. We need balance between, you know, what's best for a human, each of us individually and what's best for the collective good of all. Really? Really? Okay, this is it. The ways that we become smart by reading and listening and learning and try to be better people has got a tainted viewpoint. Will you please respect the people in this room? No, then please leave. If you're not going to respect the people in this room, you need to leave. That's the rule. Sorry. I Yes, I am friggin' passionate. And I'm also pissed. I'm pissed about what's happening in our world, and I can't really believe that us, human beings, are, are not better than what we show. You need to leave. I can... No, no, no. Okay, let's show up. Let's friggin' wake, 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 wake up! <laughs> Are you going to stay? Oh no, well, you're still here? Okay, well then... <laughs> Let's wake up, people. Let's realize that we are bigger than ourselves. That there is a bigger calling in here. Let's, and let's hold people accountable for that. You've got something very important in your life. And my friggin' grandparents and your grandparents and your great-grandparents, they friggin' died and suffered for that. It's called a vote, okay? Figure it out. If you guys sit down and behave until I get to you, I will give you the mic. How's that? Yeah. Voting is important. It's very important. It's very important that you realize that we need to start making some change in this world. Motherfucker! <sighs> it's not for me. And the only way we're going to change things is to freaking come down here to Spanish Bay. Okay, okay. Uh, show of hands. On this, uh, I'll call it a soapbox. Okay. Thank you. Please go. Springtime, the days are getting longer, the weather is getting warmer, the sun is out. Oh my goodness, the sun is out. Sorry. No, it's, it's time to go. Please remove her. So yes, this is not a 30-second infomercial or a 60-second blurb, which is what most people have capacity for. No. This is a call to action for everybody. Right now, our world is going to shit. And if we want to think bigger than ourselves and think about our kids and our grandkids and our great-grandchildren, well, we got to start being more active. The whole world is becoming humanoid. But we got to be more vocal, and we got to start thinking about protecting our house, protecting ourselves. Creatures that look human but aren't. Building ourselves from the inside out, having a strong body that works. The whole world's people are becoming mass-produced, programmed, numbered, insensate things. And having a mind that works, okay? I am so sick of what I see on TV. It was a perfectly admissible argument that Biggie advanced in the days that followed. Remember, think bigger than yourselves this election. It was, however, also a very depressing one. It's going to make a big difference in people's lives. Nobody particularly cared to hear his life was utterly valueless. And I hope I can make a little difference by inspiring a few people to think, Why me? Because you're on television, dummy. The Prince of Pot here, Mark Emery. We got Mark Emery TV today on Big E TV. All right, I got my man Don in the house, and I am going to 420. Yes, this middle-aged, becoming more and more Aboriginal, 
and I've got these millennials in the house. All right. You want to get on Big E TV? Okay. Hell yeah. Hear that, Simon? Hey, Dan Dan. What's up, brother? Okay. All right. I got Ian here, and he's not afraid to burn down in, on Facebook Live anymore because it's legal. And we are planning an intentional community in the Kootenays, baby. And we, you, me, we're going to be a part of that. Happy 420, my friend, Dale Kroom says. And so Dan's playing basketball. Dale has got 420 on his mind. And Ian, what do you got in your mind, man? I got Jack Herrera on my mind. I believe it's a sativa, if I'm yeah, not mistaken. Yeah, sativa. I don't know how I'd know that, but just by a chance. <laughs> so what does 420 mean to you? Yeah, it's an uh, anniversary of uh, one of my best friendships here. This guy, Steven. Like you met him on a 420? Yeah. 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 No, what? Well, you guys enjoy your friendship. Yeah. I'm going to carry on to 420. Yeah. Yeah. Nice to meet you. Nice. We have got a problem over here. Looks like we've got a tow truck. Folks, be nice to your tow truck driver. Those guys have purpose in life. They're just doing their job. We've got a person here that's uh, parked in up, in up, in up. Because like... Martians! <laughs> Big ETV value offering, which is mindset, music, and movement. Folks that like to give a shit and like to think, you know, use their brain. Protest to celebration. So today, the first ever celebration of 420 is going off right here at Sunset Beach, Vancouver, center of the universe! <laughs>